All right, I think we are live. Let me just check the Facebook group. There we are. Hey, everybody. All Hope right. Savara here. Let me turn down the volume here so I can see your comments and we can get this party started. Good morning, everybody. I hope your Labor Day was fantastic. If you are out on the road driving, please be safe. You can always listen and go back and watch later if you want to. Um, you know what to do. Drop it in the comment section. Where are you tuning in from this morning? Where are you right now? If you are still at home, enjoy your time at home. If you are back out on the road, let us know in the comment section where you are right now. Where in the world are you? I am coming to you live from the great state of Wisconsin in a small town called Hartford. Great little community. Absolutely love it. We're talking about water this week, my friends. How many of you are an avid water drinker? And so drop it in the comment section. Let me know if you enjoy drinking water because for a lot of people, water isn't something that we automatically like to drink. I think back to when I was a kid and my mom and, and she was a Diet Coke drinker, like always had a Diet Coke in her hand. And I mean, we had like Kool-Aid and we didn't really do soda, um, but we had like apple juice and different things like that. I don't really ever remember her pushing drinking water. Like, I don't know if it was like a thing, um, whether that's 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. Um, but now as a parent, I find myself constantly telling my kids to drink water. I myself am always very conscious of needing to drink water, but that was not always the case. Um, I am a recovering addict and in about 20 plus years ago, I found myself with my health going up and down, up and down, up and down. And one of the things I recognized was, huh, drinking water made a big difference in how I felt. And so even though I wasn't always making good choices, one thing that I found myself always trying to do was drink water. Our bodies are made up more than 60% water. That means we need water in order to continue to keep our body functioning optimally. Optimally is the key word. Let's take inventory here before we dig into what to add to your water today to hopefully get you on the water drinking bandwagon a little bit more than what you are currently or to keep you running strong. So on a scale of one to 10, on a scale of one to 10, one being, you know, I, I'm, I'm not really a big water drinker. I don't like it. It doesn't taste good. I'm not used to it. And 10 being, man, that's all I drink. Water is like my love language. So one to 10, where are you on the scale of drinking water? The reason why I ask this is it's really helpful, no matter whenever we're starting to make a change in our life, that we know where we're starting from. And the second thing I want you to pay attention to is the conversation in your head revolving around drinking water. So if ever you hear someone suggest you should drink water, what is your initial response? Now, for a lot of drivers I work with, oftentimes their initial response is, I don't like water. Water doesn't taste good. I don't have time to drink water. And I hear these responses, not just from truck drivers, though. I hear these responses from all types of people. And the truth be told, if that is our response to drinking water, we will never make the decision to drink water. The mind is a powerful tool, y'all. And if we keep telling ourselves, I don't like water, I can't drink water, it doesn't taste good, you are never going to open the doorway to want to drink water. So this is really step one in making any change, especially when it comes to hydrating yourself. We have to change the conversation in our head towards a more positive one that, hey, I may not have liked water in the past, but I'm going to try. I am going to make it a point to drink water because I know my body needs it. I didn't say in that conversation that I didn't like water, even though I know I don't. But we have to start changing that internal conversation. So let me take a drink. You know what to do. I see you on. Drop it in the comment section. If you're on, say, hey, if you're watching the live, type the word live. If you're watching the replay, type the word replay. All right. We're talking about what to add to your water so that it tastes good. Because we need water in order to survive. Our brain is comprised of 80% water. You heard me correct. 80%. 
So if you're living on the verge of dehydration, if you can't remember the last time you drank a bottle of water, you, my friend, are in desperate need of hydration. It's like hydration 911. If water had a 911 number, it would be H2O. That would be the number we would need to call um, because you, my friend, need water. And when we hydrate ourselves, many of our health related issues like digestive issues, constipation, joint pain, muscle spasms, cramping, both digestive and muscularly, uh, mental fog, dry eyes, dry mouth, chronic infection, the inability to heal. I can go on and on and on. All can be connected. I'm not saying it's the only issue, but all of them can be connected back to one very important thing. You're not hydrated. Okay. So what do we add to water? What do we add to water? If I don't like water, what do we add to water? If water is boring, because sometimes I also get sick of drinking plain water, especially in the winter. Winter is harder for me to drink water. I'm going to subliminal message you all day or all this whole video. I'm going to keep drinking in the hopes that it makes you think that you need to be drinking too. Okay. So what do we need to be drinking or adding to our water? So many people will add different packets of things to water. And I'm a big proponent of adding to water, especially if it adds value to the body. Okay. If it adds value to the body. So you may have seen at your CVS or Walgreens or Walmart, or we have Piggly Wiggly. Um, and so whatever it is, they have what's called emergency. And now emergency is a great, I'm going to turn this off here. Sorry about that. Emergency is a great last minute. I need something. However, I am not a big proponent of the emergency because if you're watching your sugars, it has sugar in it. Okay. If you're watching your sugars, it has sugars in it. If, if you're in a pinch and you need something, it is packed with vitamin C, which is absolutely fantastic for people that travel. It's great for the immune system. So if I would rate this on a scale of like one to five, I would say this is like a two and a half. Okay. I'm not saying no, I'm just saying, don't be taking five of these a day, or you're looking at 30 grams of sugar. Because one packet has six grams of sugar. One packet, you guys. And most people are probably adding that entire packet to a bottle of water. So this is why I'm not a big proponent of these. But again, in a pinch, this is better than nothing. I love, I love a company called Trace Minerals. Because they are very conscious of what the body needs and they make some great packets for water. So just to give you a little comparison here, orange, orange, no sugar, six grams of sugar. Has vitamin C, vitamin B1, B3, B6, folate, B12, uh, calcium, magnesium, zinc, selenium, magnesium, chromium, chloride, sodium, uh, potassium. It has trace mineral electrolytes, alpha, uh, wait, here we go, boron and no sugar, non-GMO. This one has a laundry list of other ingredients. It does have some minerals and vitamins in it as well, but again, no added junk, no six grams of sugar, some extra junk and six grams of sugar. Take your pick. You can buy these probably at your local health food store, but I buy them on Amazon in a box of 25 or 50. So super, super easy grab, just tear off the top, pour it in your water, stir it up, shake it up, whatever you need to, and you're good to go. They are a little light on flavor. So this is something that you could easily add two to. I also, these are just my favorite flavors, but there's like blueberry and pomegranate and strawberry and watermelon. There's a bazillion flavors. This one is one of my favorite, it's cherry lime. I sometimes actually mix them together even. Um, so cherry lime is a great added one to add as well. And it has all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. So trace minerals, great little packets. Read the label, read the back, read the back of what you're adding to your water. Do not be misled. When you walk into that aisle that has all of the juices and the Gatorades and the the, the 10 foot wide wall of things to add to your water, do not be misled. So many of those are packed full of garbage. 
extra added chemicals. They're, they're not non-GMO. They have tons of sugar. So please read the back of the label. All you need to do is look in the back at the minimum, look at how much sugar it has. And at a minimum, look at how many extra added ingredients it has. You will be blown away. Okay. Talking about trace minerals. Our body is made up of minerals and we need minerals in our body in order to absorb vitamins. So if you are taking vitamins, a multi or whatever it is you're taking, and you don't have minerals, your body can't absorb that nutrients from vitamins. So adding something to your water is a great way, one, to for your body to absorb water, but two, to create a baseline for you to absorb other added nutrition that you're putting in your day. So I really love what's called trace minerals. Same brand guys, same brand. And so this is just trace minerals drops. This bottle cost me 22 bucks. My, my local, I have a little farm that sells health stuff um, that I buy it from. Um, I'll warn you, this does not taste great. I put a couple drops in my water. I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. So what I would suggest is buying the kids version of the trace minerals drops. The only difference is this one is strawberry. So you could, okay, where are my little guys here? You could do a little something like this or a little something like this and add that to your water every single day. Trace minerals can help you regulate your digestive system. Um, if you're having constipation issues, muscle cramps is huge. Um, again, brain fog, so much of that can be linked to lacking minerals and adding a little something to your water is a great conductor for you to get in what you need. Because again, our bodies, our bodies are mainly comprised of water. Water is like a channel for our organs, our muscles, our tissues, our blood, our vessels, our cells to get what we need. Are you putting cargo, precious cargo on that channel to help your body? Most people aren't. Okay. So we also have another couple options. Some people really like the liquid drops to add to water. I think those are great. Be mindful though. Brands like Gatorade and Propel are usually packed with uh, extra added ingredients and they usually have sugar in them and they usually have other yucky things that you don't want to have in there. So make sure that you're reading those labels accordingly. I really like a brand called Sweet Leaf Water Drops. They have lots of different flavors. I believe Walmart now carries these, which is awesome. Um, I really like Kiwi Strawberry and Mixed Berry, but they have tons of brands and flavors. You can also buy them in like a pack of 12 on Amazon. Um, go nuts. And these, you just need a little bit. They're super flavorful and you don't need a lot. So pretty awesome. Love that. I am a big tea drinker. I love tea. Tea is a great way for you to flavor your water without all of the added other extra stuff. And so go to your grocery store, go to Amazon and browse the millions of different kinds of teas. I really like Tezo and Yogi. They're my favorite brands. Um, and I soak tea overnight. And so I stick my tea bag in my water the night before, and then it kind of infuses because I'm doing it in cold tea. And then I drink it the next day. So it's flavored water. It's a little tart. I like that. Um, but you're getting flavored water without the extra added calories and without the extra added crud. If you're a hot tea drinker, awesome. I am too. Um, but feel free to play with this stuff. Make this work for you. Uh, I do not have with me when I looked in my pantry, we're moving right now. I do not have any crystal light, but I want to give a little, uh, a little snippet about crystal light. Crystal light, you have to be careful. There is a light version of crystal light. I know that sounds weird. That does not have added sugar or aspartame. So be careful because you want to get the crystal light light or natural it's called, I believe. Um, and it comes in packets in a little box that does not have aspartame traditional crystal light, because I know in the past, some of my drivers had said that they're big crystal light drinkers that is pumped full of aspartame. So please be careful and switch to the natural taste the same. If not, I think it actually tastes better. Um, and it does not have aspartame in it. So read those backs of those labels. You guys, they are sneaking stuff in your packets, in your water stuff thinking, Oh man, I'm doing so good for myself. And then you are just loading your body with a bunch of other stuff that you just don't need. Okay. Finally, for those of you that need a little fizz in your life, need a little pep or trying to replace soda. 
or are trying to place even just one soda. I'm not saying never drink soda again. Okay. Because that I believe is unrealistic. And I believe everything in moderation is usually okay. Usually. Okay. So when you're trying to replace a soda with something else and you're missing that fizziness, you're missing that bubbliness. I absolutely love sparkling waters, or you could even add a little club soda or a little spurt spritzer into your water that you're already drinking or doing things like bubblers or bubblies, or this is just, um, bell aqua, pure aqua bell. This is from Aldi's. Um, it's like a buck cheaper than buying the name brand stuff, but they have, this one's passion fruit, lots of different flavors, absolutely delicious. It might quench that need for some fizz. There's nothing in this. Okay. So if you read the label, it literally is carbonated water and natural flavor, zero calories, zero carbs, zero sodium, zero everything. Okay. Nothing. Oops, there we go. Nothing. If you're looking for a little added something, or you're trying to replace that caffeine, but a healthier version, I highly recommend bubblers. They're at every truck stop. Okay. When you go into the truck stop, I have not yet been to a truck stop or a convenience store or a travel center that has not carried bubblers. They're usually over by the juice section, um, kind of right between the Gatorade and the juice. And there's usually like a red one and like a grapefruit one. And there's a couple different ones. This one is lemon lime twist um, because I like lemon lime flavor. <laughs> um, but these are awesome. These are awesome. They have caffeine in them. So don't go crazy. They have caffeine. It's, it's equivalent to it's green tea, equivalent to one cup of coffee. Okay. But we're looking at five calories for one can. Super good compared to drinking a can of Mountain Dew or Pepsi or whatever else you're drinking, 25 grams of sodium and a bunch of awesome vitamins. Yay. And we're looking at, yeah, less than one net carb. So this is an awesome, awesome exchange for coffee or for that soda. Even if you just switch out one, it's going to be better than nothing. And you're hydrating your body. You're still getting in water, which is absolutely essential. So long story short, you guys, there are options out there. Can I make one small change in my water drinking category? Can I try a little bit harder? Can I get out of that conversation cycle that I'm telling myself, I don't like water. I can't drink water. I'm a truck driver. Therefore, I can't drink water. We have so many conversations with ourselves on a daily basis, unconsciously, that are keeping us from making the next good decision, from making that next small change. I don't care about what you do next week yet. All I care about is what you do today. I want you to just focus on today. Get your water in today. I don't care about tomorrow. I don't care about what happened yesterday. All I care about is that you get your water in today. So what's it going to be? What is your goal today? Drop it in the chat. How are you going to make an effort to get one more bottle of water in than what you've previously be doing, been doing? And if you are already an avid water drinker, well, then how can you spice it up? How can you change it up? How can you make this more interesting or support another driver in this group? So here, whew, here's a cheers to drinking water. Ooh, I forgot how good that was, you guys. That literally tastes like lemon lime soda. I forgot. I just bought this one. Wow, that is so good. You need to get yourself a bubbler today. Let me know what flavor you get. Drop it in the chat or drop it in the group and let me know. All right, that's all we got for you guys today. Remember, it's about the small, simple changes that lead to the big results. You can do this. You can improve your life. You can live healthier as a truck driver. You can reach your goals, but we got to focus just on today. And today is about getting more water in. All right, you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Let's do it. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.